hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to create picker view so for that first create new xcode project and choose single view application and you can give the name like picker view demo and language should be objective c and just click on next and create it right and then we need to go to main dot storyboard and here i will search picker view like this and i also add i'm also adding constraints for this object like this is my width dynamic width and default height and its xy position so from here I can set its XY position like this and I'm also taking one label also so when I select any value from this picker view the data will be displayed in this label right so I'm placing this label here like this and its alignment is center blanking the text and changing the background color so that it will be visible like this for that also i am adding the constraints like zero zero from top i am taking 25 and its height is 40 and that's it and you can also learn auto layout and setting the constraints in my auto layout video Right. now I need to set properties for these objects so I need to click on this button and selecting view controller.hy just pressing the control button and drag and drop to that file and I'm naming it as picker view for label also I'm doing the same thing and I'm giving the name LVL text like this right and now in this view controller.h file we need to add protocols of picker view so the name would be UI picker view data source and UI picker view delegate right in the .m file I need to add its methods one is number of components in picker view number of components means uh, how many vertical columns you want so here i am returning only one i need and in the next method that is number of rows in component so number of rows would be uh, an integer integer value so for that I need to create first array NS array and the name of array is devices as I usually take in my previous videos and here I'm in, I'm defining my array like this and first item is iPhone right and adding number of items like this would be iPad and this will be iPod iMac iWatch any items any area you can take it's up to you right so I've taken this devices of Apple and here I will return the array with the count property like devices dot count so it will show the number of rows uh, which is already present the number of items in that particular array right in the next method which is uh, its name is title for row sorry title for row yeah this one this will return 
string values of this array so I will return written array name and row means whichever the value is selected will be displayed right and the last method is did select row did select this method is actually uh, for selecting any item from the picker view to display that selected item in label so simply I will call that label property name this one and I will pass the array name with the row property like this and before running the project I need to set that protocol of picker view self dot picker view dot data source equals to self like this and same with the delegate dot delegate equals to self now I can run sorry send garland should be there now I can run my project to see the effects so here is the result uh, at the startup none of the uh, value is selected so no item is displayed over the label when I choose any value from this picker view like iWatch so iWatch is displayed there I can also change any value like iPhone iPhone will be displayed there so I hope you guys you understand my tutorial and thank you thank you for watching this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys we'll see you in the next video bye bye